there. Is that Roy? Hello, mate. It's Benedict here from KMFM. Benedict, how are you doing? Yeah, not bad. I don't know whether Chris has actually briefed you on the fact that I might be calling. Yeah, yeah, he, he emailed me yesterday, yeah, great. But I was doing this thing on the radio. Oh, yeah. And I'm asking for people who've done things for celebrities, and then it got even weirder because he sent me your number and said, well, yeah, I have done a few things for Roy from Heatwave, and here you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris is a good lad. How do you know him? Well, he's, um, let me see, when I come down to Ken, I met Chris, he was helping me unload roadie, he was me roadie for the day. Like, so rent a roadie? He said, I'll, I'll help you with that, and I thought, oh, does he even know how to lift it? I said, go on then, and he, yeah, he was helping me uh, set the gear up and all that kind of stuff, and that was the first time we met. Does that happen a lot when you go to places that you suddenly no. find you've got a friend? No, it doesn't. No, no. Not unless they're drunk. <laughs> and what are you up to now, then? Well, I'm back on the road. I wasn't on the road for a while. I was uh, doing um, television music for different things, and then that dried up. Then I went on the road. Heatwave started doing a shed load of 70s nights, and I was on the road forever doing those kinds of things. Then it started to get a bit quiet. This was about the 90s. And then I started writing. I just decided, right, I'm going to write songs. And I was writing and writing songs. And my wife says, well, have you got anybody to give these songs to? I said, no, not really. She said, well, go do something else. And I rang a couple of people. Do you want to draw me a song? And they're like, no. <laughs> do you want a song? No. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll go and uh, drive lorries then. So I was driving lorries. I, th- I just got a bit tired of the industry. So, yeah, so... Uh, and, a, and a colleague of mine uh, heard that I was driving lorries, and he says, look, come and sing in my uh, car the restaurants down here. Come down here and sing. He says, you shouldn't be driving lorries. I said, I like driving lorries on my own bus, the road and the countryside, and I sit in there with me recorder and record all my song ideas. And <laughs> I says, I'm, I'm having a whale of a time. Plus, fitness. You know, I don't know why lorry drivers get fat. I don't, maybe they're the guys that just sit in the cab and let someone else unload, because I was unloading my own lorry. I was fit as hell. Do you know what I mean? It was absolutely brilliant. And and he, he a good friend of mine got me back into doing shows, and one-man shows. He said, bring your one-man show on the road. And I was like, oh, do I have to? And he said, go on, give it a try. And that was it. Last six years, I've been doing that. Life takes you on a journey, doesn't it? It's always oh, it exciting. Does. Well, Roy, thank you very much for having a chat with me. I appreciate that. No worries. We'll let you get on your way, and if we ever need any stuff moved, we know who to call. You wild man. <laughs> now listen, he, don't forget heatwave72.com. That's the, so lowercase, heatwave72, because we started in 1972.com. Will do. I'll go and have a look at it now, Roy. Yeah, and you can read up on me there in biography. Cheers, mate. All right, thanks so much.